Hey everyone, it's Kim the Homeschooling Grammy and it's time for me to share what we read in the month of February. So stick around and we're going to get started. Of books that we either went through or have started in the month of February and I think part of it is is because the weather was just cold really cold <laughs> and it's still really cold as you can tell by how I'm dressed and um, yeah and plus we fit in back Black History Month um, some amazing women that we've been studying for Black History Month and that's gonna kind of fall over into March um, because we've really enjoyed it and you know we're taking our time reading through these books so anyways first and foremost um, for science we use sunlight and we finished the animals portion of the science program and so the book that we used was by Usborne and it was Usborne World of Animals and this book is an amazing book if you are not a fan you know if you don't know anything about Usborne I highly suggest that you check them out but most people know about Usborne uh, but just look at how gorgeous this book was and it was just a beautiful wonderful informative read with sunlight sunlight and I loved it loved it so the next thing I want to share with you is what we do um, we do an evening devotion with hope and so we've already done this book before but we decided to redo it and I actually have the newest book in the series but we finished How Great Is Our God by Louis Giglio awesome awesome devotion um, it brings Bible and science together it's just wonderful wonderful book okay so next Poppy and Hope um, have time and evening that they read things together and then Hope and I have things that we read together. So I'm going to share with you first what um, Poppy and Hope read in our reading. Um, so they read um, Island of the Blue Dolphins by Scott O'Dell. And so they did finish this book. They said they really enjoyed it. I listened here and there. I have actually read this book before. I read it when I was in school. It's a great read. And then the other book that they're reading, and they're almost done with it, they just have a little bit left. It's called Me and Jack by Danette Haworth. And um, they're really enjoying this book as well. Anything that has to do with animals, Hope's all about it. Okay, so now I'm going to move on to the books that Hope and I have been reading. And we finished Anne of the Island. Great read. And if you didn't know it, we're going through the whole series. I have um, the whole conglomeration of eight books that I got at Ollie's. So super excited. So that was really good. So we've moved on now to Anne of Windy Willows. And let me see. We're about 80 pages in. So not super far. Loving it, of course. And then another book. So if I think of it, I will try to link in the I cards. Um, the video that pertains to this but I had found um, the Heartland series we really love Heartland we have binge watched it um, all the way from season one all the way through and we still will sometimes in the evening when there's nothing else to watch we'll rewatch. so I found the books at least a couple of them on thrift books and so it's Heartland Coming Home by Lauren Brooke and so we're really enjoying this book as well. Okay, so now these books are books that Hope does for Sunlight. And these are her readers. And these are two stories that she finished for the month of February. The first one was called The House on Walenska Street by Charlotte Herman. And the next book that she finished was Brave Kids True Stories from America's Past, Cora Freer by Susan E. Goodman. She said she really enjoyed both of these books. She said she really liked this one. She said it was really, really good. Okay, so for music, if you are a follower of my channel, you will know that this year we are doing composers. And so we read... Um, 
getting to know the world's greatest composers, Ludwig van Beethoven. And if you haven't seen these books, they're really fun. Super fun books, packed full of information, but just really fun to read too. Okay, on to the next. So along with the readers that Hope reads, we also have read-alouds that we do with um, Sunlight. And so two of the read-alouds that we finished in the month of February are The Door in the Wall by Marguerite DeAngeli. And actually this book was pretty good. At first I was kind of on the fence, at what, you know, but it ended up actually being a really good story. We ended up liking it. And Hope said this book has been her favorite read aloud of all time since we've started Sunlight. She was like, Grammy. She was like so sad when this book ended. She was like, I love that book so much, Grammy. Um, and it's Henry Huggins. Um, is Click a Tat Street Ready for Henry and Ribsy by Beverly Cleary. And she loved, loved, loved this book. <laughs> and it was. It was super fun to read to her. I have to admit, it was fun. And I had never read it before either. Okay, so the last little pile of books I have are all the books that we have read or are just about finished reading for our amazing Women's Black History Month. And actually, we have one more book we are going to read, but it's going to end up falling into March. And that's okay. So this book, and this book has been very good, VIP, Very Important People, Dr. Mae Jemison, Brave Rocketeer by Heather Alexander. Super good book. We're almost done with this book. We are on page 91. And it has, how many pages does it have? I don't know. Not many. But yeah, we're really close to the end. This has been good. Okay, so the next books that we read in the month of February was Who Was Sojourner Truth? And we are big Who Was books fan people. We just love Who Was books that so we did. Who Was Sojourner Truth? Who Was Maya Angelou? Who Was Rosa Parks? And if you want to see how I incorporated these books into Black History Month and our amazing women's study. I will try to remember to link an iCard up there for that as well. So anyways, we did the Who Was um, Rosa Parks. And then we also read Little Melba and Her Big Trombone. And this book is so fun. And it's so pretty. And it's just, it's a beautiful book. It's a beautiful story. Um, and it was hard. I didn't find a whole lot on Melba. But look at just like how beautiful the illustrations are. Really, really good book. Highly recommend it if you can find it. I don't remember. I'm trying to remember where I found it and I can't remember now. It was, it was used. And the other book, last but not least, that we read was by Faith Ringgold, If a Bus Could Talk, the Story of Rosa Parks. So there you have it. That was a whole lot of books. A whole lot of reading and I didn't even realize how much we were doing I guess it was just you know long cold blustery days and it was easy to read so God bless take care and I will talk to you in the next video